Speak these incredible, powerful manifesting words for faster law of attraction manifestation. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. That's where we are flying five days a week in the direction of your dreams and your goals, empowering your life with the law of attraction, personal empowerment, and of course the latest in the mind sciences. Be sure and subscribe, click the bell icon because we are here for you. Speak these manifesting words to empower your life. You know, many years ago I was going through a huge struggle in my life and my business, uh, I had a wonderful business, but it took a, took a massive downturn and, uh, I didn't know what to do. And I, I caught myself speaking negative words and, oh, the market's bad and the economy's drying up and nobody's using radio advertising anymore. Nobody's doing this and it's not going to work and this isn't going to happen. And I sat down and I took, I took counsel with myself, with my own inner self. And I said, look at the words that I'm using. And I wrote some of them down and I was appalled. I said, no wonder I'm manifesting this in my life, this negativity in my life. You know, you and I as human beings, as co-creators of our reality, we have the ability to use words of power. Words of power literally cut through all the haze and help us manifest and attract the life that we deserve and the life that you and I desire. Now, the ancients understood the concept of words of power. The ancients understood how important words were. The right word would mean that we could win the battle. The wrong words meant that we would lose. The right words would attract rain. The wrong words meant a drought. Ancients understood the words of power and they used words, language, vibration in their incantations. Some people call this magic. It's exactly what it is. Magic is nothing more than the law of attraction that has been amplified on steroids through the use of powerful incantations, thoughts, rituals, and words. Now, high flyers, when you bring about a change in your vibration, in other words, your vibration shifts through a deep change in your subconscious mind. When that happens, what you attract, what you manifest begins to shift as well. You know, the Aborigines understood this, the medicine doctor or the medicine man uh, used psychodrama, but he also used words. Psychodrama combined with words created a sense of power and the belief in those words. That's the key. Developing a strong belief in the words of power that are, you are using on a regular basis. If you don't have belief in those words, then using them alone is not going to help you. In other words, magical incantations alone don't work. You have to have a strong belief. Imagine the, the medicine man simply drawing a circle on the ground and putting somebody who had broken tribal law in that circle and saying, this is your jail. You cannot leave. And the person will not leave because he understands that if he leaves, the medicine man will speak words of power, will engage ritual and he'll become sick. And oftentimes it has been reported that 
these people who have escaped and left have been offwards of 500 miles away and died for apparently no reason at all. Now, high flyers, you can call that magic or whatever you'd like to call it. But the truth of the matter is, is that, that the entire tribe was invested in those words of power. We do that in our tribe too. We have prayers. We have pledges, pledge of allegiance. We have other types of rituals that use words of power. So words of power are as old as man on this earth. I mean, words of power are incredible. They really work. Now, the more you use the words of power that I'm going to give you, the more your subconscious mind will begin to believe them. That's the good thing about this. The more you use the words, the more your subconscious mind will begin to believe. And the more your subconscious mind believes, the more you will want to automatically use those words and the feelings that are attached with those words. And that leads to a connection to the universe. In other words, the universe begins to match exactly what you speak. So high flyers, as I was saying many years ago, I was reading about the Aborigines and their words of power and their rituals and how much power they had. And I sat down and I looked at my own business and I said, wow, I've literally been condemning my own business with the language that I've been using. And I sat down and I wrote out words that I was consciously going to use every day. And my business skyrocketed. My business bloomed overnight. I landed an account shortly thereafter that I was with for 10 years until I decided to close down my business. That account literally paid my overhead. So I know that using proper words, using words that really empower your dreams and goals really work. Okay. So the first one that I started using on a regular basis was abundance. Doesn't it feel good? Don't you just want to like grab onto a bunch of stuff? Abundance. We have an abundance of love. We have an abundance of happiness. We have an abundance of resources. We have an abundance of money. Uh, write that word down below. That's the word abundance. Action, action, action. When you take inspired action, things begin to happen with your life. Action is movement. There's movement. When you use the word action, there's movement, there's energy flow. It's absolutely incredible. It's a power word. Use the word action daily. Amazing. Amazing. I think life is amazing. I think you are amazing. I think YouTube is amazing. I think the internet is amazing. I think so many things are absolutely amazing. So why wouldn't I use the word amazing? I would, of course. We are amazing. We are high flyers. We are soaring in the direction of our dreams and our goals. Authentic. Oh, I love that word. I love that word. Authentic. Because there's so much stuff out there nowadays that is not authentic. Look, just go through the food market. Boxes of stuff that is, <laughs> that is being told is food packaged as food, but it's not really food. It's all kinds of stuff. It's not authentic food. What you want is authentic. You want the real deal. You are the real deal. Use that word daily when, when it's appropriate, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. I, I just close my eyes. If I say that word, I close my eyes and I see a beautiful Eagle flying over a lake near Mount Hood in Oregon. Beautiful, beautiful. The law of attraction is beautiful. 
Love is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Bountiful. You don't hear that word much anymore. You might hear it around Thanksgiving time in the United States. Bountiful. If you've got a full belly, if you've got food in your refrigerator and your cupboards, you're, you're bountiful compared to a lot of the world. Bountiful. Courage. Courage. Ah, uh, I don't just have courage. I am courage. I choose to live a courageous life. Creative. Doesn't creative feel good? I feel creative today. I feel like today I'm, I'm going to draw outside of the lines. I'm going to color outside of the box. Creative. Hi flyers. The next word is dream. Come on, let's get together. Let's dream about your goals. Let's dream about the life that you desire. Epic. This is big. This isn't just big. This is epic. Freedom. Hmm. Hmm. Freedom. What does freedom mean to you? It means you have the ability as a co-creator of your world to live the life that you desire in the way that you desire, as long as you don't hurt anyone else. Freedom, greatness. You are filled with greatness. Happy. I love that word. I'm happy. I'm happy, 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 happy. It just feels good. I don't know what to do. I'm happy, happy, inspired. Oh, I feel that God force energy just pouring through me. When I say the word inspired, inspired, it means to be in the spirit, inspired, love, love. I don't know how to put a definition on it. Love. It's just a beautiful word that I think that we need to be talking about the things and the, and the experiences we love every day. Miracle. You know, Wayne Dyer used to say people that believe in miracles, they tend to see miracles. People that don't believe in them, they never have them happen. They just, they just don't show up. No miracles, no miracles for you. Okay. <laughs> money. Oh yeah. I love the vibration of money. Let's use the word money in a positive way. Never say things like I don't have enough money. Say I have more than enough money or money is flowing into my life, you know, easily, effortlessly possible. Everything is possible. Do you know that whatever you desire is possible? powerful. You're not just special. You're powerful. High flyers. Powerful is an incredible word. When you apply these techniques of the law of attraction, you will become more powerful. Success. Success comes in little small increments. When you set a micro goal, a small goal of accomplishing something and you accomplish it, you have achieved success. The idea is to set a number of those goals every day. And by setting goals, you automatically remove blocks from the law of attraction. Your law of attraction action begins to flow easier. These are the most powerful, law of attraction techniques. There are, they're just words, but they're techniques. When you use them, they work ultimate. This is the ultimate law of attraction technique. It absolutely works. Look, I love the word ultimate. I don't know if there is such a thing as ultimate, but I love the word. And I love how it makes me feel unbelievable. It makes me feel unbelievable. 
I feel unbelievable. Wealth, you know, speak of yourself as a person that is living a life of wealth and what, my first word abundance and prosperity. Now my last word is four words in different languages, peace, Shalom, Pax in Latin or Namaste. So peace, peace. It just brings a sense of rest and calmness into your life. You can invoke greatness into your life, but you can still be in a peaceful state. Now the bonus word, the bonus word is your own name. Your name has power. Your name is unique. I mean, maybe a thousand people, a million that have your name, but they don't have your DNA and your name. You see your name is attached to you, your DNA, your energy field, your spirit. So be proud of your name. And if your name doesn't represent who you really are deep down, well, change your name. They call that an initiation. Change your name to something bigger, bolder, brighter. Okay. There you go. Listen, be sure and visit us at miraclehypnosisonline.com forward slash free audio. We have a free audio program there for you. And all you have to do is download it and start using it. It's designed to bring you abundance, but first you must take action. It's going to be amazing because it is authentic. I'm not going to keep going and going and going. You get the idea. You have a great day. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.